Hi, I'm from the uh, Wakefield High School. I'm uh, Paul DePietro. I'm in the Wakefield High School Culinary Art Program here at uh, Wakefield. My teachers are Tony Cucci and uh, Miss Lori Lyons. And today I'm going to prepare uh, a Caesar salad and a uh, fettuccine alfredo. And a uh, dessert, this uh, really doesn't have no name, just found in a recipe. We're open here uh, every day except Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday from uh, 11 to 12. And, uh, it'd be nice to see you guys come down here. These two recipes are recipes that we use uh, every once in a while in the restaurant. I'll start that for you right now. Let's start with the uh, Caesar salad. Here I have uh, four cloves of garlic, a couple of pieces of uh, anchovy. I have to mince these. Here, yeah. these are the uh, anchovies. Chop these up a little more. Take these and put this into a bowl. You always use the, the back of the knife. If you use the, uh, the blade, it tends to make it dull. You take the garlic and the uh, anchovies and you take it and you push it around the uh, sides of the bowl, it gives it more flavor. At the end of this, we're not going to keep it in the bowl, but like if you had a party or something, you would keep it in like a stainless steel bowl, but we're going to put it on a platter. So it's easier for you guys to see. Now we're going to take um, the mustard and the Worcestershire and the squeezed lemon. And mix these into uh, the bowl out all together. It's about a tablespoon of the uh, vinegar. That was the uh, with share. This is the, uh, the lemon juice. This is the uh, mustard. Let's mix that all together. We have to get the um, 
That was one lemon that we mixed and uh, two tablespoons of red, uh, red wine vinegar and two cups of oil that we're going to be putting in just a minute. The egg. We have two eggs. Post. Cook them for, uh, boil them for about a minute. And put these in. Take a whisk to uh, mix this all together. I'll run off all the uh, the measurements at the end again, just so this one I've been able to make this. Here's the uh, two cups of oil, and uh, I have to get the pepper. Four pinches of the black pepper we use. Put them. We add the uh, oil slowly to this. Take the, uh, the lettuce. You have to add, sorry about that, I had to have three ounces of uh, grated Parmesan cheese. It's always better to use the, uh, the cut Parmesan cheese, the can, because it has more flavor. Than Tastes a lot better. Now I'll take my uh, romaine lettuce. Put this right in. Just a little more. I take this and I'll mix it in this bowl. I gotta cut this up, sorry. Just a little uh little nervous here today. I'm supposed to my partner never showed up. I'm supposed to be here, but you have to go on, so that's why it's gonna it's gonna take me a little more today, just a little nervous.
good to make two slice marks in the middle and then cut up. It gives you little like smaller pieces easier to eat and time to eat. We had uh, made earlier, we had uh, croutons that we cut out and we sauteed uh, about a half a cup of oil. Four cloves of garlic. Then we drained the uh, garlic out of the oil and put the, uh, put the, uh, the bread into the oil and tossed it. And then we put a, uh, keep on tossing it so they all get brown all around. And put the, uh, put about, uh, Two pinches of um, of um, parsley. Cut out about a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon of uh, parsley. Here we are. Now I'll take this. Mix it around. Now add the uh, croutons. I'll put this out on a platter for you, so it'll be easier to see. This the other hand. Put a couple of croutons on top. And there's a Caesar salad. We get just a little cleaned up here. Made a little of a mess. Next, I'm gonna make the uh, fettuccine alfredo. We have uh, made homemade the homemade uh, fettuccine noodles. The last the last program I was on with uh, Anthony Apolito, we showed you how to uh, make the fresh pasta and use the fresh pasta machine and everything. But today, I just went along and prepared it before. Before time, I I have a, <laughs> a pot of boiling water. I add uh, about uh, half a tablespoon of uh, salt to it, and I'll make the uh, the sauce right now. I need for the sauce. I need um. Garlic in the saucepan. And we have butter and garlic first. So get the butter, garlic.
I'll let that cook for three minutes. And I'll put the uh, the pasta in right now. This is the uh, the homemade pasta. That'll only take about three to four minutes to cook. I'll get the rest of the ingredients for this. And I need to uh, use half and half cream, grated cheese, salt, pepper. I have to add that and let that simmer for about five minutes. This is ready. Stir the macaroni. Or the uh, the half and half and half and half. There's a fourth of a cup. The half and half. Add this in. In I let that simmer for five minutes. I take this out. Check the noodles again. Those are done. Get pot. Hold on.
Hey, it's just strained though, so I'm gonna let them sit over in the sink. Back to the sauce. Go back and get the uh, macaroni. This is the uh, macaroni. Sauce. I'll mix this around. Take a little parsley and put that right on the top. And here's your uh, fettuccine alfredo. For dessert. Really don't know what to call it. But sort of a banana surprise. If they get another saucepan. It's called fine. Cinnamon, nutmeg, um, maple syrup. Brown sugar. Right now, this yeah. I'll melt the butter. Get this out of there. Use about half of this because we're going to do a serving for four, but. I'm going to cut it down to two. So, just half of that. Put 
Wait for that just to melt for a couple minutes. Then after that, we'll put uh, about a tablespoon of nutmeg, uh, a tablespoon of cinnamon. It's about uh, just about a quarter of a cup uh, brown sugar, and uh, maple syrup is just for the more flavor. So I guess you really get to use as much as you want in the maple syrup. Use about a half a cup for this many people. A little less than a half a cup. It's the uh, nutmeg. I'm going to use a tablespoon. These burners are <laughs> very hot today. Same thing with the cinnamon. I'm going to use a table, uh, teaspoon of that. Take uh, maple syrup, add this in. Take the brown sugar after this gets a little bit hotter. Use about a tablespoon of the um, brown sugar. Stir this. Doesn't look too appetizing, but tastes delicious. You take um, the bananas, get a knife. It's the banana. Anyway. I always use a cutting board. That dulls the blade also if you don't use one. Put that down the middle. In half and cut it in half again. You take this, put it right into the uh, pan. So you saute the bananas in the sauce. 
I'll do one more for you. Let's saute in. I'll get the uh, vanilla ice cream. Use uh, any kind of ice cream you want to, but I think vanilla goes best with this. Sauce on this. And there you have uh, a dessert, banana surprise. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for bearing with me through this. I assure you that next time will be. Uh, go a little smoother. Thank you and I uh, hope you watch again. Yeah. Alright. No, that was good. That was that was good. That was good.